Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and we're on day six of my seven days of mobile workflows for creatives. So we started off on day one with Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile, just getting our photos together and making qu some quick adjustments and getting the photos we want to be able to use in the project. Then we went to um, a Photoshop Mix where we actually took one of the photos and we did a quick composite and then we refined it and finished it on the desktop in Photoshop CC for 2014. Then on day three, we went to Adobe Color on the iPhone and we are actually iPad. And then we uh, created a color theme that we're gonna be using as a matter of fact today. And then of course we went to Adobe Brush CC where we actually created an Illustrator brush that again, that we hope to use today. And as you can see, we're starting to put a lot of this together now. Then we went to Adobe Shape and we actually got to create um, a vector image from a photograph. And we're gonna be seeing that again today. So we basically spent the first five days kind of getting everything together. We're gonna to spend the last two days bringing it home and putting it all together. So we're gonna kick things off today with Adobe Illustrator Draw. And Illustrator Draw uh, started off on the iPad, um, but now it's available on iPhone as well. And with that, uh, what Illustrator Draw, as you can imagine what the name implies, it's like having a version of Illustrator for your mobile devices. So with that, we're gonna take um, Illustrator Draw and create something that we're gonna use um, in our final day tomorrow. So let's go ahead and go to Illustrator Draw. And from here, what I'd love to do is just on the left-hand side, I'm gonna tap the plus button to create a new project. So from here, I can go into the project. Uh, I can specify multiple artboards by pressing the plus sign up at the top there, but I'm just gonna work with the one artboard for now. And um, again, bringing some of those elements that we put together earlier this week. So first element I like to bring into Illustrator Draw is my color themes that we created on one of the days using Adobe Color. So I'm just gonna tap the color icon here, and then I'm gonna go over on the right-hand side and press the plus button, and then I'm gonna to go to my color, where again, where it knows of all of my color themes. So it's just showing them to me. And then at the one at the very bottom is that Liberty theme that we created. So I'm going to tell it, yes, use the Liberty theme that will bring it down into Illustrator Draw. And I can then pick the green color of the Statue of Liberty. So that way, whatever I draw will start off in the right color. Now, speaking of the Statue of Liberty, remember yesterday, I believe it was, we used Adobe Shape and we took that photo uh, of the Statue of Liberty and we convert it into a vector. Well, this is a vector drawing program, so I'd love to bring in those vectors now. So I'm gonna go up to the shape icons here and I can either bring in um, arbitrary shapes that are built into the application. And of course, this application takes advantage of both Ink and Adobe Ink and Adobe Slide or Ink and Slide. I'm gonna go ahead to my demo library where I've got that Creative Cloud or I've got the Creative Cloud library synced and of course the Statue of Liberty image in it. Now from here, I can go ahead and expand this out just using my uh, fingers and pinching and zooming. I can zoom that out a little bit and then I can double click or double tap to stamp that in. So I can get out of um, the, uh, uh, the on-screen version of slide. There we go. So now we've got our image and what I'd love to do now is I can begin to work on this. So for example, I can switch tools I've got an eraser here where, where the writing didn't quite come in. I can go ahead and just simply start erasing some of that data. Let's go ahead and uh, make our brush bigger. There we go. Too big. <laughs> Use my two fingers to undo and make bring the brush sound down a little bit. And from here, We'll just go ahead and use Adobe Ink to start erasing some of that. Okay, great. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to my layers. And in my layers, we've got multiple layers here in Adobe Illustrator Draw or Adobe Draw, I'll call it for short. We're going to go ahead and uh, just tap a new layer and we're going to then hold, hold it down with my finger and bring that new layer down below the Statue of Liberty layer. So now we've got a layer that we're working on that's below the original layer. So from here, I can zoom in to the torch and what I'd love to do now is go back to my um, my one of my drawing tools here and I'm just going to go ahead and grab that color 
from the original torch. And I can just go ahead and start to paint that in or brush that in. And again, since I'm on the layer below, I don't have to worry about it accidentally painting on top of the green. So I can go ahead and refine that brush stroke and get my torch color looking pretty good in there. Now, of course, if I don't like the color or if I want to go back and erase some, I can bring up my eraser, bring down the size of it, and get my nice pressure sensitive eraser there. So we have uh, various ways to continue working with this particular drawing. There we go. All right, so now that we got that in, we can pinch and zoom. Oops, let's undo that. And let's move it up. And let's say that I want to get one of the colors from the statue again. I can grab that color. And I, again, since this is pressure sensitive and I'm working with Adobe Ink, Adobe Ink is pressure sensitive as well. I can just go ahead and create a nice thin line um, to kind of join that. If I don't like it, I can use the two finger tap to undo and kind of get that right in place there. So that part that may have been missing from the shoulder, I can kind of put back in or more importantly, put in uh, with a little bit more flair or customization to it. Because again, my illustration, I can do what I want. All right, so we could go in and put the text in in Illustrator, or we could say that, you know, we're just going to say this. We got some words on the tablet there. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and finish up the line here. Uh, let's go ahead and undo that. And my finger kind of just wants to draw off center there. There we go. All right, there we go. Last one. It's always the last stroke that drives me crazy. All right, perfect. So now that we have that in place, um, we could close it. And of course, that will sync the drawing up to Creative Cloud. That means that even if I brought it up on another device, uh, such as my iPhone here, I could go to Adobe Illustrator Draw on my iPhone and because that project has synced with Creative Cloud, that project will be available to me on my iPhone as well. So as soon as I give it a second to sync, there it is. I can now tap the project on the iPhone and continue working with it from here. Now, of course, uh, just like with day two, when we did Photoshop Mix, we did so much of it on the device, but then we kind of said, you know, I really want my desktop tools to finish this. So I got a lot of the work done. I got my color theme in, I got my uh, shape created. I didn't have to go to Illustrator to do the tracing. I could do that out in the field. And I even started some of the process of filling in the colors and filling in some of the missing pieces. But if I want to refine this now, you notice that there's a share button up at the top. And I can say, let's, sh let's copy it on uh, the image to Creative Cloud. But more importantly, let's send it to Illustrator. So if I say send to Illustrator, I'll give it a second or two, but what that will do is send it and sync it to Illustrator and then launch it into Illustrator on my desktop. So let's give it a second or two to do that and then we'll come back and work on it in Illustrator. And <laughs> there's my second or two, it's already here. So now I can put the phone down, I can put ink down because now I'm back at my desk where I've got my Wacom Cintiq here and I can go ahead and work on this. So let's zoom it up. And from here, I've got access to, if I go to my layers, there's the original layer, there's the layer where I've added things to it, and I can continue working on this because, again, if I use my direct selection tool here, we can see that it is all vector. So if I wanna start filling this in with different colors, if I wanna start reshaping this in any kind of way, I can. So even if I go in, for example, on uh, this layer, actually, that layer oh that layer okay and I kind of want to reshape that for example using my pencil tool I can go in and kind of say you know I love that flame to kind of be reshaped underneath like so and it will reshape it if I don't like it I can go in and kind of finish that and reshape it that way Okay, so you get the idea. We're in Illustrator. We can do all the things that we would do inside Illustrator. So again, if 
if I see points or uh, little stray marks that I don't want, or maybe they don't add enough character to the image because we don't need these on her arm, we can go ahead and just simply select them and delete them because they are vectors here in Illustrator. Okay, so with that, next thing we want to do, we want to take advantage of the Illustrator brush we created. So let's go to our brush tool and uh, let's go to our Creative Cloud libraries. And remember, we created this pickle brush using Adobe Brush. So I can go in, I can tell it what color to use. We're going to say that we want no fill, uh, we want a stroke, and we want to use, um, we go to our Liberty colors, and we want to use the blue from the sky. Okay, so we have our color uh, for the stroke, and we can then start stroking that. Uh, as you can see here, we get the same exact brush that we created. On our mobile device, there's my new Liberty text uh, with my new Liberty or my pickle brush. So see, you thought the brush was would never work out and it actually did. Actually, you know what? kind of would like a different L here. Let's go ahead and delete the L. And let's make a different one. Go back to our brush tool. There we go. That's the liberty I want. And then of course, once I have that shape, it is vector. I can pick it up, move it around, and we can do a little kerning there with our hand drawn type. So with that said, now, of course, this is an Illustrator document. I can do whatever I want with it. I can save it back out to my library and use it that way. So, for example, if I select all, I could go to my library and just simply add it as a graphic. And it will add it back in as a graphic and sync it with Creative Cloud and my libraries. So, I can uh, go ahead and rename this if I want. And we'll call this Liberty 2 like we've been doing complete and liberty 2 has been renamed and is there liberty 2 complete is ready to go i can also of course save this directly to my hard drive so if i want to do a save as uh, we'll call this liberty 2 complete and of course we might want to save this uh, anywhere on our hard drive but we can also save it to our creative cloud files folder where we would have access to it on day seven with what we're going to do uh, next. So let's go ahead and put it in the NYC folder, just like we put the original uh, photo that we didn't mix in the same folder. We'll save this as a complete Illustrator document ready to go. And again, we got all our layers, all our vectors. We can keep working on this to our heart's content. We can color it. We can do whatever we want, just as if we had drawn it ourselves in Illustrator. So you've seen the workflow go six days, and we're really starting to bring it home. And tomorrow, I've got a special treat for you. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.